welcome to a tour of Cattails. Cattails is a privilege uh, 37 and uh, she's 37 feet long, draft is uh, 3 foot 11, beam 21 and a half, and the mast height is uh, 59 feet. Privilege is famous for quality, uh, including um, PVC cord hull, you know, heavy duty standing rigging. You'll see the, uh, the outer shrouds are actually one half inch stainless steel, uh, and also lots of uh, safety features. We've owned uh, cattails for the last uh, 14 years, and uh, we're meticulous with the maintenance and have kept uh, comprehensive um, records uh, on all maintenance performed. This is a stern view of cattails. Uh, we're looking at the uh, starboard sugar scoop. Uh, there's a swim ladder there and also a uh, freshwater uh, rinse. As we come uh, out towards the center of the boat, you'll see a, uh, a custom designed arch that we added that uh, really does lots of different functions. It's a, a primarily a dinghy davit, uh, but it has mountings for antennas like single sideband, uh, AIS antennas. There's a solar panel, TV antenna, and I don't know if we're going to be looking into the sun here, but uh, uh, there's a, uh, a radar and, uh, and a wind generator up on the top. This is a view of the Bimini from down below, and uh, it's fitted with uh, courtesy lights, uh, fishing rod holders, and uh, we also uh, did a custom design on the frame, and uh, as you can see, it covers the entire cockpit. We're uh, walking forward now on the uh, starboard hull, and uh, you can see that there are numerous uh, opening hatches for excellent ventilation. In addition to what you see, there are numerous side opening ports uh, on both hulls. This hatch is uh, a bow locker with a huge amount of storage space uh, and it goes all the way up to the uh, bow and a great uh, location for fenders and lines and uh, jerry jugs and lots of stuff that uh, takes up a lot of volume and is hard to store. Both uh, bows have uh, bow pulpits with uh, seats, and as you can see, there are uh, <clears throat> lifelines uh, all the way around. For ground tackle, the, uh, the primary anchor is a 44-pound uh, spade, and then there's a backup 45-pound bruce, and also a big uh, uh, fortress uh, Danforth-type anchor. And uh, the anchoring is, uh, the hauling is done by a Maxwell uh, windless 1,500-pound uh, uh, pull. The uh, trampolines on the Privilege are uh, very comfortable, and it's the coolest place on the vessel when, uh, uh, when it's warm outside because you get a breeze from all different directions. The, uh, the anchor locker is... Uh, right here and it's uh, very large it accommodates all our anchors and and uh, numerous roads and uh, room for plenty plenty more too okay we're gonna walk up uh, <clears throat> on the upper deck there's a uh, large opening hatch for the salon and uh, also two smaller opening hatches uh, this is the top of the Bimini, and uh, this is uh, new this year. It's a uh, uh, white stemoid, which is uh, nice and cool. And uh, you can also see that there's a large solar array both on this side of the Bimini and also on the other side, uh, plus a, uh, a large panel on the arch gives a total of uh, 450 watts of uh, power. The uh, sail cover... Uh, covers a uh, almost new uh, fully battened mainsail. It uh, was made by uh, 
max sales in uh, uh, 2016 and uh, they did a great job. The performance uh, was really excellent from uh, the new sales. Uh, yeah, speaking of sales, uh, the jib is also new in 2016 on a uh, pro furl, uh, roller furler, and that was also built by uh, Max Sales with a, a radial cut so that it will uh, retain its shape uh, a lot longer. Okay, we'll work our way aft on the port side. Uh, and you can see the salon has uh, really large windows for excellent visibility and uh, those uh, window covers are also uh, new this year. And another view of, uh, of the arch and uh, wind generator where we're not looking into the sun. Okay, we're back uh, <clears throat> near the cockpit, and uh, you can see the uh, custom-made uh, helm seat that we had built for uh, for two people, and uh, great visibility for all the instruments: uh, autopilot, chart plotter, depth sounder, and uh, uh, wind instrument and uh, compass. As you can see, the cockpit is really large. Uh, We've uh, had as many as uh, six couples on board for uh, hors d'oeuvres and this uh, teak table when the leaf is up uh, has room for uh, a really ton of uh, hors d'oeuvres. Very, very good uh, boat for, for entertaining. And uh, underneath the seats are, are large uh, storage lockers, uh, both sides, <clears throat> another locker forward, uh, plus a uh, propane locker. And I don't know whether I showed you, but uh, uh, there's also a storage, custom storage box under the uh, under the helm seat. And the companion entryway is uh, <clears throat> protected with a uh, with a bug screen that uh, slides uh, open and closed. And below that, you see a uh, large teak grate, which is uh, covers uh, cockpit uh, cockpit drain. Okay, the screen is open now, so uh, we'll just go down and uh, check out the salon. First thing you see is a very large uh, table that uh, seats six with uh, storage underneath and a settee that, uh, that goes all the way around the table. And panning up, uh, you can see the, uh, the large windows. Uh, we have some covers on the forward windows, but those uh, roll up uh, to give uh, good visibility forward. Uh, <clears throat> off to starboard is a nav station with uh, uh, VHF radio, single sideband radio, and uh, SWR meter for the single sideband. And coming around, we have uh, a DC panel, which was an upgrade. They, uh, we replaced the original with the blue C panel that uh, uh, seems to be more reliable and uh, uh, <clears throat> does, a, does a great job. The, uh, the seat uh, is movable for the nav station and uh, the top of the seat uh, uh, opens up for, uh, <clears throat> for additional storage inside. A, uh, a galley is uh, down in the port hull, and uh, we really like this configuration because it allows for uh, more a larger galley and more galley space than than and storage than if it's up on uh, up on the bridge deck. And we'll uh, look at that in detail in uh, just a minute or two. All right, we're going to go down the steps into the uh, starboard hull. And you can see all the woodwork is uh, is beautiful uh, beech wood that's uh, been varnished, kind of typical of uh, privilege quality. And uh, this uh, space we call our guest room. It's uh, <clears throat> a queen size berth. With a uh, large opening hatch overhead. 
and also a, a side opening port and uh, lots of uh, lots of storage. Access to the engine is uh, through this door, uh, but also there's uh, access under the mattress uh, that opens up uh, really wide. Uh, some steps for uh, entry into the berth and uh, some uh, cubby hole storage. Okay, heading forward in the uh, starboard hull, uh, you can see all the cabinet space here. Uh, tons of uh, tons of storage on on both sides. And a uh, large hanging locker. And uh, down in this locker here is a um, the water maker. And it's uh, custom fitted in there so it doesn't use up all the uh, uh, storage space. Now going forward, uh, this is our guest uh, head with a uh, 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 Levac uh, toilet. <clears throat> storage, vanity sink, and a large, uh, uh, large stall shower. Okay, we'll make our way, <clears throat> make our way across the uh, bridge deck again, and see uh, nice curtains which come in handy uh, during sunsets when the when the sun is uh, shining in on the table. Uh, here's our multimedia television. Uh, we have a TV antenna. Uh, but we also use it for uh, navigation. Uh, we hook up a laptop to it and we do chart plotter navigation and uh, the uh, TV is on an arm so that it can be swung out and visible from the helm. Okay, we're going to go down inside the uh, porthole and uh, go aft. And uh, we've kind of done a... a <clears throat> repurposed uh, this area. It was originally just like the starboard hull with a queen size berth, uh, <clears throat> but to make it uh, more suitable for our needs, we uh, turned the uh, queen size into a single. And to give us some room for th uh, important things like a, like a chest freezer to uh, increase our frozen food storage so we can stay out for uh, a longer time. Uh, also, we, uh, <clears throat> we made a desk computer desk with a uh, kind of a slide out uh, <clears throat> slide out drawer and a shelf for a printer on top and a, uh, a fold up uh, fold up seat uh, if you want to come down here and get away from everything and uh, do some work uh, <clears throat> that's a good place to do it okay we're going to work our way through the galley looking at an upright uh, refrigerator combination fridge and uh, freezer <clears throat> It's, uh, it's controlled with an electronic thermostat that keeps uh, separate temperatures, uh, <clears throat> enables you to set temperatures uh, for the freezer uh, and the fridge. Uh, two uh, <clears throat> Seaward uh, Princess uh, stove with oven, uh, propane, and it uh, has a thermostatic control of the oven, so the, uh, uh, the brownies it produces are really uh, outstanding. And again, a side opening port, <clears throat> large stainless steel sink. And then we'll work our way forward into the, uh, uh, the owner's cabin. Uh, <clears throat> have a uh, vanity sink with an opening port. <clears throat> and <clears throat> another Levac head with... Uh, uh, also with another uh, another opening port, and uh, now we're going to switch over to the uh, one of the design features of the privilege that we just fell in love with the first time we saw it, and uh, guests on board are, are really surprised when they come up here and uh, turn around uh, the corner. Uh, <clears throat> there's a uh, owner's uh, queen size berth on the level of the bridge deck <clears throat> uh, with. Uh, uh, actually plenty of space on both sides of the berth <clears throat> and a big opening hatch uh, above the berth so uh, you get plenty of fresh air and you can also stick your head out there and check the anchor uh, uh, in the middle of the night if you're so inclined 
and a pretty good uh, storage locker <coughs> up there with some uh, fans for uh, ventilation. Okay, we're going to make our way aft in the uh, port hull again uh, through the galley. And you can see the uh, large addition to the counter space on the inboard side. <coughs> Two big uh, cupboards for, uh, for dishes, uh, uh, large uh, lockers underneath for provisions, and the aft one is for, uh, for trash. So, um, yeah, we had a new uh, custom handrail, aluminum handrail installed that uh, gives an extra grab rail for uh, uh, going up and down the, uh, the stairs into this hull and also uh, kind of goes across the top so guests don't feel like uh, if they're taking a nap up there they're going to fall out, roll over and uh, end up in the galley. Okay, we're back where we started from and that completes the tour. If, uh, if you're looking for a well-maintained cat with uh, many innovative uh, upgrades, <clears throat> Please uh, contact, uh, contact us and uh, schedule a visit. We'd love to show her to you. Uh, we're located in Apollo Beach, uh, uh, right on Tampa Bay.